The MemoCut 051 is a thermo expandable titanium nickel alloy spiral developed for long term ureteral stenting. It has a unique temperature activated shape memory which makes it adapting itself to the host tissue. These properties make it easy to remove obstructed or migrated stents. Memocat ureteric stents were first used in malignant strictures. They were well tolerated and they did not encrust. This encouraged us and others to use them in B9 ureteric strictures in the long term. This avoids more invasive reconstructive surgery. Once deployed, the Memocat keeps the stricture open. This avoids frequent stent changes and bladder irritation through the double J stents. A 32-year-old female has a whole length ureteric stricture of 22 centimeters. She came initially for a bilateral Memocat insertion four months earlier. At that time and by another team, the left side was fitted with another double J stand since the largest commercially available Memocat is 20 centimeters in length. First, the right side is inspected. After four months, the nitinol stand does not show any encrustation, despite the distal end slightly protruding into the bladder as intended. Retrograde ureterography confirms the patency of the stent. The left double J stand is removed and a safety guide wire left through the strictured ureter. The left ureteric orifice, which is also the distal end of the whole length ureteric stricture, is then marked with the cystoscope and on the X-ray screen. A retrograde ureterography with a 10 French double lumen ureteric catheter confirms the narrowing of the whole ureter. The double lumen ureteric catheter is then placed at the pelvic junction and marked with a stereostrip at the urethral external meatus of the patient. It is then retracted to the previously marked ureteric orifice and the second stereostrip at the urethral meatus marks the distance between the pelvic ureteric junction and the ureteric orifice. Firstly, the stent introducer is advanced to the left pelvic ureteric junction and the 150mm Memocat 051 is expanded there with 55 degree Celsius hot water and anchored in the POJ. The proximal stent was chosen as long as possible to increase the friction between the stent and the ureteric wall and so prevent upwards migration. The remaining unstented distal ureter is remeasured and confirmed as 7 cm in length. Consequently, a 100 mm Memocat is chosen to bridge the distal ureter into the bladder. The second Memocat is inserted in the same fashion, touching the distal end of the proximal stent. On hot water installation, initially there is an incomplete expansion of the proximal end of the distal stent. Over a carefully introduced intraluminal guide wire, a 6 French ureteric catheter is brought directly to the proximal end of the distal stent, through which further hot water is instilled 
leading to complete expansion of the stand. Both Memocats now bridge the ureteric orifices, but do not protrude significantly into the bladder, which could cause stent-related lower urinary tract symptoms. The straight end of the proximal stent fits perfectly into the funneled proximal end of the distal stent. From previous insertions and endoscopic follow-ups, we do know that this fit does not allow tissue ingrowth nor does it lead to increased infection or encrustation at that particular joint. <laughs> 